everyone. Um, I promised that I would show how to do a pet groom on Brittany. And this is Oliver, who's about to fluffy as my dogs get. And all that noise is coming from Stinker, who's pretty upset that she's not the model, but she's just about bald at the moment. She, she's not very. She's not going to do a very good uh, demo. Anyway, Ollie has uh, gotten pretty fluffy. Um, far more so than I normally let my dogs get. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how you can groom your dog. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're not going to go into a show ring. Um, but they can look pretty nice. Just a few small things. with a pair of clippers. Um, I use a 7FC blade. Um, you can use variable ones but this will work best. Uh, usually a pair of clippers will come with, with a 10 which is too short. Um, and if you happen to have a dog that's spayed or neutered and they get that really soft fluffy fuzz, you also want a 5 uh, because that will help with that area. He's an intact so he doesn't have that. But if you were going to take the fuzzy stuff down without having to strip, you would actually comb just the fuzzies off um, when they're standing, of course. And that will really significantly cut down the amount of work you have to do. So I'm going to plug these in. place we ever shave a Brittany is right under the neck. You can see he has been done before but it's been a while. Um, how you want to do this is you want to feel the breastbone and you're going to start about one finger up. You're going to go straight up and then you want to find the bottom of the ears and you basically make a V shape. So I'll show you how quickly this changes. It's a lot cleaner. You can take your comb or your brush, whatever you're using, and kind of look and see where the fur lays. You want to make it a little neater, see if that's all scruffy and it doesn't meet the side. I'm going to use straight shears because most of you aren't going to pair, ever pair thinning shears. But these are thinning shears, which you would normally use for blending. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use straight shears to show you what you can do here. So you're going to just come along the side of where you clipped all the way straight up to the ear. And you can clip all this stuff right under the ear if you have it pulled back because you're not going to notice it. You're just going to clip that up. And go to the other side. Make sure to pull your dog's ear out of the way. You don't want to get his ear. They're, trust me, they're not going to like it too much. Okay. So, that's pretty neatened up without being too fussy about it. Okay. So, it already looks like quite the different dog with his neck done up. Now, he gets these super fuzzy ears that a lot of Britneys get. He also has a tendency to have light colored ears because the sun beats down on them. But if you want to just clean these up and make those nice short little triangular ears we're supposed to have, you can use these clippers again. And what you're going to do is you're going to clip, but you're going to comb. You're not going to go against the grain. You're going to comb. And you're going to start right about here because we always like the little tuft on the top. So turn them on.
and it takes off quite a bit. Make it makes them a little. Their ears not done yet, but we're just taking the bulk off right now. You always want to comb it first so it's going to lay evenly. And the trick is you don't want to dig in. You just want to comb it. Okay, so those ears aren't quite done. But while we're at it, he also gets the mohawk. A lot of dogs do, especially livers. Um, not all orange dogs do, but livers almost always do. So what you can do is kind of bring that forward, take that same 7FC blade, and comb the top of his head. Make sure you got it. Bring it forward again. And he has a nice, neat head. There won't really be any marks, and what little is there will be gone in just days. You'll never notice it. So to clean up these ears, this the the ear itself is what we call the leather of the ear, and what you want to do is you want to kind of pull out that fur that's peeking out, and you want to cut along the leather of the fur, like that, and you want to comb it out. And do like that, and now you can see the ear is actually here, and you can take this, just clip it all off, it's all needless, you won't notice it and it'll make them a little cleaner. Okay? Got this nice cute little triangular ear now. We'll do the other side. You can see the difference. Fuzzy ear, cleaned up ear. So, I'm just gonna Nice, clean, pretty little ears now. He's already looking like a totally different dog. Now, he's got Grinch feet. <laughs> and I know they're kind of cute, but what they do is when they go out in the snow especially, they can collect all these snowballs. It can really hurt their feet. So, the bare minimum, this is something you want to do with every dog. So the best way to get all this is take your thumb, you go in between the two joints here, and you pull up the fur, you take your straight shears, and you cut just along the top of it. Do the next one, pull that straight up. Next one, there'll be three on each foot. All right, already looking significantly better. And you also want to go under here and just cut the fur along the pads. You don't want to cut into the pad, just even with the pad, it's fine. Doesn't need to be perfect. A little grinch spot poking out. Sometimes you do have to pull it up twice, especially if they're very furry like his are. You also want to get this little tuft right here, just cut that straight, and underneath here, right up to that old um, finger, what was a finger years and years and years ago, you can just cut straight up. Nice and neat. It has a nice, neat foot compared to his fuzzy foot. So we'll do the other front one for now. I'm sure you can figure out how to do the back one. Uh, it's just like the front. So 
I, I will show you a little trick for the back when we get there. Okay, see how nice and neat that is? Just do the other side. Okay. So far, it's pretty nice and neat. It was lazy. I don't have a grooming on arm here. Um, I do own one, but I figured most of you won't. Most of you probably don't even have a grooming table. So he, I'm going to clean up this rear area. So I think I will move this table so you can see what I'm doing in the rear. All right. So. He's got a flag right now. Some dogs get a little crazy on the flag. So all you have to do is you pinch it at the bottom of his tail and you cut. And then the next part you do is kind of lift it up, pull that down, and just cut straight down. And once again, it doesn't need to be perfect. This would be a little bit more nitpicky if you were going to the show ring. But it really, the differences between this cut and the show cut is just the amount of time you're spending blending and, and making sure it's nice and neat. Now, here is an optional part with the clippers. A lot of dogs who aren't used to this aren't going to like it. Some dogs have excessive fur here. And you might notice they get these little poop balls right there. And it's not that neat and you're constantly picking it out of their fur. Who wants to do that? So what you can do is you can take these clippers. You can kind of see there's a shelf right here. There's just a natural spot. You bring it down. Clip down. And you clip up a little bit towards the anus. You can use the clippers to kind of blood it a little bit. gives you a nice little shelf and you can take your straight shears once again and, and just trim off the stuff that's coming off the edge. It doesn't meet. Um, I would normally do this a little different for the show ring. Um, for one thing, I'd probably do it a few days before so it will have to grow back in a little bit and I would use thinning shears here to blend. But once again, we're doing a more of a pet room here. So you want to also, probably trim this up a little bit. They're supposed to have feathering. It's kind of pretty. They don't need to have quite this much. So, once again, you're going to come find their, the top of their hawk or their knee. Um, and you're going to come up. And you can just go up at an angle. Okay. Come to that other side. Pull up the hawk. And at an angle. 
go in so it's kind of nice and neat because you will see the stuff that's behind it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just kind of cleans them up. Okay. Um, looks a whole lot different already. I'll show you from the side. And you can just take this stuff right here and just cut that right off too. No one will notice. Okay. There we go. A lot neater in the back here. Doesn't have all that excessive fur. Um, so here, the feet are the same as the front, but what you can do is uh, sometimes you, uh, dogs get quite a lot of fur, almost like weird feathings on their hocks. So you just pull it out, you take your straight shears, and you go straight down. That's all you do. Clean up this rear feet here while we're here. Alright, we've already taken a lot of fur off. We'll just do a little bit more. Just an optional type of thing. Some people like to clean up underneath here. Um, you can see the fur is hanging down. I will once again use the straight shears. Normally I would use thinning shears for this. stuff off right up the edge. You can go right up. This is a male dog, so you go straight up a little bit here. Kind of get the at the very edge. You clean that up. Sometimes they get a little smegma. That's uh, kind of gross. Just straight shears, 